Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru. It is February 13th, 2022. I'm here for my Wordle of the Day and happily for National Crab Rangoon Day. If you don't know what these are, you may have heard of them as crab and cream cheese wontons. Different places across the country and probably the world call them different things. But these are wonderful little parcels of cream cheese and lump crab and if you do it the way I do it, garlic and scallion and a little bit of lemon and lemon zest, paired with some miniature egg rolls made out of the same wrappers with a little bit of dipping sauce, magic. Absolutely magic. And that's what we're going to use as our inspiration today. Although I have to say, it was difficult for me to come up with a couple of words that didn't have repeating letters, but I've always learned to make these into a little purse. And so I'm going to start with the word purse and see what this brings us. Okay, so we've got an R and that R can go here or here or here or here. Okay, not here. That's the only place it doesn't work. And then in order to find, I mean, I thought of so many other words to describe these, like, you know, crabs, that would be good, and fried and crisp, but they all used an R and uh, some of the other letters as well. So I decided that since I make them in batches, and that word hadn't been used yet, or those letters, I will use the word batch. And that helps a little bit, a little bit. So we can't have a B in the first spot, but we could have a B here, 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 or here. All right, so I can either choose to use these in my word to see if I can find a, a place where they belong, or try to find a word in here that doesn't use any of those letters or a combination. What about drink. What if I use the R and see if the R goes here? Because R is such a good blending letter. The second spot is a good spot to find the R sometimes. Let's see if this works. Is that the word I want? Uh, I, I'm going to back this up because I wasn't careful to make sure that these hadn't been used in other places. So there's the D. It hasn't been used. The R has been used in a different spot, so that's okay. I, N, and K have not been used. All right, there we go. And that gave me some information, not a lot. The first thing I want to do is erase the R from here. There can't be an R here, but I don't have good placement of anything else. So the B can't be here. The R can. We did get a vowel here. Um, so the only vowels left are O and Y. So if we don't have consonant blends, we have to find another vowel. Uh, let's put these in. So R is in, B is in, and now I. I can go here or here or here or here. And the N can go here or here or here or here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is look at what this created. Uh, and I want to look at it across and down and kind of diagonally to see what might occur here. And look at this. This looks like the word Robin to me. Can an R go there? Yes. Oh, we haven't used an O, so that might work. A B can go here, and I can go here, and N can go here. So by setting this up, it's almost like a little logic puzzle. We can see what might be. Is there anything else I can do? I keep wanting to do nubbins. That's what I see down here. But that doesn't work for so many reasons. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, once I get a word, I, I have a hard time straying away from it. Let's also go backward. And the other thing is, it may not be an O, so can I try to put another letter in there? Where would the I most likely go? Well, guess what? 
because this will give us additional information and because I'm not concerned so much about getting it done in uh, quickly, but just before the sixth play, let's do this and this should give us valuable information. The R could go here, the O could go here, the B could go here, the I could go here, the N could go here. Those are all letters that are used in the word, except we don't know about the O. And that is it. Phew! Okay, I say phew just about every single wordle I play. That's how I feel. So relieved when I've actually gotten it. That's it for me. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. Obviously, I'm most comfortable getting it done in four. That just feels good to me to get it done on the fourth try. As always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.